Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here bringing a different kind of bicycle video. We're at the Bicycle Heaven Museum here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. To a lot of my subscribers who are local here, the Bicycle Museum is probably familiar. For those of you who aren't from this area, it might be something to put on your bucket list to check out. The Bicycle Museum is the world's largest bike museum. It has over 6,000 bikes in its collection. Some of the bikes are extremely rare, worth tens of thousands of dollars. So we're gonna head inside and show you what it has to offer. this gentleman hello how are you doing too oh, you know, and yeah. doing some videos So when you first come into the museum, one of the things that you see right off the bat is this original bone shaker that they have up on the wall. This is one of the oldest known bicycles uh, in the world, and it's amazing that they have it in their collection here. I want to give you guys a couple of really good close-up shots of what this bike is and you know, what bikes used to be like, you know, 150 years ago. So the, one of the curators of the museum just pointed out a couple of really cool things about some of the bikes they have here in the collection, and I'm going to show you guys those now. The first one being this really cool rear wheel, front and rear wheel, where the suspension is actually built into the hub of the wheel. Extremely cool, but I would not be, would not want to be the person who has to build these wheels. The other really cool thing that he showed was these are parade bikes. So these bikes were meant for playing music and going down when, when there's a parade going, like a 4th of July parade. And he's actually going to let me turn on and show you guys how the music works. This runs off batteries and a cassette tape. videos I want to make in the future is how to ride a penny farthing and this museum has a couple of really cool penny farthings in their collection. This is one of them, one of the biggest ones here in the collection. Uh, I want to make a video in the future as soon as I can find someone who has a penny farthing I can ride. I would love to make a video on how to ride one of these. I think it'd be really cool. So check it out guys. I'm in another one of the rooms here and they actually have two more penny farthing bikes in this room as well. They probably have five or six of them here at the museum. I'm telling you, I'm gonna find someone who has one of these penny farthing bikes and make a video on how to ride one. I think it's gonna be awesome experience to do.
Another thing that's really cool in this museum is a lot of the stuff they have in the display cases, memorabilia, and just components of bicycles that have been lost over the years. Uh, if you have a look at this display case here, just copies and copies and copies of the exact same hub, all in the same color. for these kids to get around was by forming organized racing teams. Russell Kawa's team may have been the earliest, but the first all-star BMX team was Rick's bike shop team out of Santa Monica. His reputation remains legendary. Hey guys, so we're on the second floor here of the Bicycle Heavy Museum. A couple of cool things I want to point out. The first one being these two bicycles that are encapsulated in this tree. Super unique. Especially given the fact that the other bike looks like it's well over a hundred years old. And if you work fast for shit, you can do good when the gate drops, you can pull the drones from out of the solar elbows. Another really cool bike that they have in the collection is this Cannondale. Uh, Super V, ultra rare bike, revolutionary for its time, carbon fiber frame, magnesium wheels, mono shock in the front, um, truly revolutionary when this came out in the 1990s. Guys, I can't stress how much stuff there is to see here at the Bicycle Heaven Museum. We're on the second floor and literally there are thousands of bikes. No two of them are the same. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. There's actually uh, whole rows, 20, 30, 40 copies of the exact same bike in absolute mint condition. There are some real gems here. A prime example is this section right here. Check out this entire line of vintage bikes that are over a hundred years old. One thing that's really cool about this place is they've got a bunch of bikes that are on display that are very special, but if you spend a lot of time here, you'll find that there's actually some hidden gems just lying around uh, in the shop. Have a good look at this one here. A really cool vintage. Another thing that's really cool about this museum is that a lot of these bikes are for sale. So if you're someone who's looking to collect a bike or looking to get a vintage bike and start a collection, it's really cool. You can come to this museum and actually have a look at all the bikes they have here. And most of them have a price tag on them and you can actually purchase these bikes. So there it is guys, that's just a small sample of what they have to offer here at Bicycle Heaven. It's not just a museum, they also fix and repair bikes, sell new and used bikes, and they also do vintage bike uh, restorations as well. 
So if you have a chance to come out and check it out, this place is 100% free for you to see. They do keep this place up and running 100% on donations. So I highly encourage you to come out here, check out the museum, leave a donation. I also want to give a huge shout out to Craig, who's the guy that owns the museum. He's an amazing guy and he has a plethora of knowledge about the bikes in his collection. So get out here, check out the museum. So thanks for watching and subscribing and stay tuned for the next video.